Good morning and welcome to our service for today. Our reading for this morning is taken from John's Gospel, John chapter 20, and we begin to read at verse 24. Now Thomas called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. The other disciples therefore said to him, We have seen the Lord. So he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, the doors being shut, and he stood in the midst, and he said, Peace to you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach your finger here, and look in my hands, and reach your hand here, and put it into my side. Do not be unbelieving, but believing. And Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen, and yet have believed. Amen. A little bit of uh, true and false this morning. Which of these four statements are false? Three of them are true, one of them are false. My cousin named her goldfish after me. Someone once walked up to me and said, hello Brad Pitt, can I have your autograph? I can roll my tongue. I had a really bad nightmare when I was a child that I was going to become a vicar. Which of those are true and which is false? I had a goldfish named after me. I can roll my tongue and I had a bad nightmare when I was eight year old that I was going to be a vicar. The one that is false is that so far nobody has up, come up to me and confused me with Brad Pitt, although I daily await for that to happen. In our Gospel passage today, we read about Thomas, who actually was famous for doubting something that was true. Thomas had not been with the disciples for whatever reason when Jesus appeared and he said, Unless I see the marks and put my fingers in his wounds, I won't believe. I wonder what this week must have been like for Thomas. All of the disciples trying their level best to convince him that what they were saying was true. And all of the confusion that he must have felt. On their part, I wonder if they resented him for not believing. And I wonder if they were resented by Thomas. Because if the disciples were telling a lie about Jesus, then it must have been one of the most awful, cruel lies ever heard. And yet, when Jesus comes, he greets Thomas and he welcomes him. You see, wouldn't it have been easy for Jesus to say to Thomas, you don't get it, my friend. There's the door. Kindly leave. And yet Thomas meets the risen Lord and he believes. Jesus doesn't say to Thomas, look at my face. He says, look at my scars. You see, for Jesus, there's something more important going on here than just physical recognition. Jesus wants to show Thomas the reality of his death and resurrection. And Thomas's wonderful reply, my Lord and my God. I wonder if you doubt, especially in these difficult times. I know that sometimes Helen doubts the dishes will be washed and the hoovering will be done. She doubts it. And imagine the look on her face when it actually happens. Our doubts, if handled to God, can actually lead to faith. Thomas was the first of the disciples to say 
my Lord and my God. Doubting Thomas became believing Thomas. Amen. And may God bless you all.